Hello, welcome to Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about dynamic data masking basics and dynamic data masking policy. And I will show you how to implement dynamic data masking with the Azure portal. We can set up dynamic data masking for our databases using the Azure portal. What is dynamic data masking? Azure SQL database, Azure SQL managed instance, and Azure Synapse Analytics support dynamic data masking. Dynamic data masking limits sensitive data exposure by masking it to non-privileged users. Dynamic data masking helps prevent unauthorized access to sensitive data by enabling customers to designate how much of the sensitive data to reveal with minimal impact on the application layer. It is a policy-based security feature that hides the sensitive data in the result set of a query over designated database fields while the data in the database is not changed. For example, a service representative at a call center may identify callers by several several digits of their credit card number, but those data items should not be fully exposed to the service representative. A masking rule can be defined that masks all but the last four digits of any credit card number in the result set of any query. As another example, an appropriate data mask can be defined to protect personal data so that a developer can query production environments for troubleshooting purposes without violating the compliance regulations. Let's talk about dynamic data masking basics. We can set up a dynamic data masking policy in the Azure portal by selecting the dynamic data masking blade under security in our SQL database configuration pane. So I will show you how to do this dynamic data masking using Azure portal. What are dynamic data masking policies? Three policies, SQL users excluded from masking and masking rules and masking function. Let's talk about SQL users excluded from masking. A set of SQL users are Azure Active Directory identities that get unmasked data in the SQL query results. Users with administrative privileges are always excluded from masking and see the original data without any mask. Masking rules, a set of rules that define the designated fields to be masked and the masking function that is used. The designated fields can be defined using a database schema name, table name, and column name. Masking functions, a set of methods that control the exposure of data for different scenarios. I will log into Azure portal. I will show you how to implement dynamic data masking with the Azure portal. And also we will talk about some of the masking functions. I am in the Azure portal. I will go to server and I will go to SQL databases, click on database. And here I can log into query editor. I will open a new tab. I will log into this SQL server. So let's check what tables we have in this database. So we have address table, customer table, customer address, product, product category. So I will just uh, query from customer table. So this is the sample data we have customer ID, name style, title, first name, middle name, last name, and company name, salesperson, email address, phone, and password. 
password hash and password so so here i will show you how to mask these fields email address and phone so i will go back to our sql database overview page so under the under the security we see option dynamic data masking so i will click on dynamic data masking I already added one data masking role. I will just delete that one. So now I will add a new data masking role. Select sales LT database and then table customer. So before I add a, before I add masking role, so let's talk about some masking functions that we have here. So I will select table customer and column. Let's just select for now first name. And here we see the masking field format. So what? Uh, let's talk about these masking methods. Credit card, which exposes the last four digits of the designated fields and adds a constant string as a prefix in the form of a credit card email masking method which exposes the first letter and replaces the domain with xxx.com using the using a constant string prefix in the form of an email address random number masking method which generates a random number according to the selected boundaries and actual data type if the designated boundaries are equal then the masking function is a constant number the custom text masking method, which exposes the first and last characters and adds a custom padding string in the middle. If the original string is shorter than the exposed prefix and suffix, only the padding string is used. So here, here I will choose an email address and select how to mask. So I will just use this email masking method which exposes the first letter and replaces the domain with xxs.com using a constant string prefix in the form of an email address. So I will add this masking rule. So here we see that SQL users excluded from masking. So we already discussed about dynamic data masking policy. It's a set of SQL users are Azure Active Directory identities that get unmasked data in the SQL query results. So here, if we click on it, specify a semicolon separated list of databases, database SQL users for which data masking will not apply. These users will get data results without masking for all database queries. So now I will add a phone number. I will add one more rule. I will select a database, sales database, and table customer. And I will select a phone number and custom string padding. So I will expose first three numbers and custom padding, and then expose the last three last three strings and add this custom rule so we can always make changes if we want to change this masking rule we can click on the email masking rule and we can delete it and add a new one and what is recommended fields to mask the ddm recommendations engine flags certain fields from our database as potentially sensitive fields, which may be good candidates for masking. In the dynamic data masking blade in the portal, we see the recommended columns for our database. So here we don't have any recommended fields at this moment, but generally in this 
dynamic data masking blade, we see the recommended columns for our database. All we need to do is click add mask for one or more columns and then save to apply a mask for these fields. So, so far in this module, we discussed about dynamic data masking basics and dynamic data masking policy and how to implement dynamic data masking with the Azure portal and how to set up dynamic data masking for our database using the Azure portal. If you have any questions on the dynamic data masking, please post in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.